okay so we're gonna draw this logo using creator the open source free alternative to photoshop so open up your creator tab this is not a beginner tutorial um, create a new file and then click create okay there we go we have opened up our creator interface and here we could draw our logo so you need to adjust uh, select the tools that I'm, I'm selecting right here you could click that on brush type select ink there we go and then scroll down to that brush there we go ink um okay so you have selected that brush and make sure that you have pressed b on your keyboard so that you could uh, be able to draw let's add several layers here um i'm adding three you can see the three layers i've selected the second layer where i'm gonna paint it lead so you could press f on the keyboard or go straight to your left i think it's here is it your right your left okay so you could just select that paint dropper tool by pressing f and drop ink there you can miss it okay so you have dropped ink there and then select the first layer we're also going to okay the first layer drop it down um let's okay let's put it there back back there on top and um let's color it black okay let's color it black good we have cut there we have a first red which is transparent the second layer which is blue okay so let's select the selected tool there you go you selected the selected tool so what this does is that you could um cut the layers so once i come cut if i cut the black layer it means that i'm gonna have the lady which is going to appear so i was zooming in and zooming out using my mouse wheel you can do that by just loading your mouse wheel so here i'm drawing using the selected tool it's a very nice tool though um as you can see there i'm just uh, trying to create the shape a shape of an arm as you see the way i'm doing it i'm gonna do it slowly for you guys to see um how i was bending the lines because i was using a mouse on my keyboard so let me just try to speed this up a bit okay so um i'm doing an arm the arm that you saw there um uh, you could zoom in and zoom out by uh, simply using your mouse wheel uh, it's very simple that way so there i was just press i was just uh, putting the dots where i knew uh, it would make the best illusion i knew it would make the best logo i knew it would um, have the best appeal so you could also be doing this remember we're drawing on the first rare we're drawing on the first rare and and that what we're doing what we're using drawing this is the selector tool so what uh, what we actually doing here it's just selecting the black parts where we're gonna uh, delete so if we did this uh if we did the first if we did the above layer which is the third layer and um which is black we're going to have um the layer that is below it so that's what we want that's what we want for our hand okay so there you could see that I was just um, drawing the shape of the hand, the outline that is. You could just be following me through this. Um, I'm sure you could see clearly what I was doing. So bear in mind that I, I haven't been editing this video. I'm just taking it the way I was doing it. So there you go. You could select the, the uh, triangle tool and then um, press like click on the um, inside and then cut. You could cut that. Uh, okay you could cut that you could select it to a new layer and then delete the new layer so there you go guys we have a black we have the little layer which is appearing so if you want uh, the light if you want uh, to have only the uh, white layer you could also just delete the uh, little layer which is left there by selecting the the setting inside the layer and then deleting the little layer so that you could only have um, the white layer so there because there are some some red spots there i just selected the brush and then um the brush that i already had and i had to increase the st stroke size so that we could just paint white inside the inside the um the inside our selected space so there i deleted the black part i deleted the lead part i'm only remaining with the um white part so i'm back uh, i've selected the uh, black part so i'm gonna st I i've selected again the um select section tool where i'm gonna try here i think i was doing some fingers 
so it all depends on which color you want to leave which color you want to delete it it's all matter of that it's it's about that so i've selected the triangle tool and where i've cut that to new to new layer yeah i've selected the black and then i can delete that and if i delete that i'm gonna remain with the late part you can see there that i'm remaining with the red part because i've deleted the I've deleted the part, um, the black part which was on top of the lead part. So there, I'm also bring another line on the black uh, on the black uh, layer, so that once I select the triangle tool and then let click on inside and then delete that, I'll delete the black part. I'm gonna remain with the lead part which is below. So and this is creating the effect that I want. Okay, so. Well, I'm gonna continue doing this uh, in places where I know it would actually. Um, once I do that, it would actually leave me with the. Um, it would actually leave me with the uh, lead part. So there you see me doing it. Um, I'm still on the fingers. You could also be just copying what I'm doing here. You could also make the same illusion. It's how I tend. Uh, it's how I made this logo using Creator. And create that's the best Photoshop alternative. If he Photoshop that asking you to pay, um, you know that creator they can ask you to pay. So just follow what I'm doing here. Um, select, you know, on the left side you can select the um like uh, the triangle tool. Once you select the selector tool, you can select the select triangle tool, and then you can just click like click, and then that that gives you the option to delete. So if you see that there are things inside inside the uh there may be link stuff inside the white space that you want um to have you could just uh, whilst you're keeping on the selected part you could just select the brush size the brush and increase the size and paint it white inside the process where you want it to be white so there i was also drawing you can see that most of the drawings that i was doing here i was doing whilst i selected the black part and there you could see that um it's still on the arm i'm still on the arm i was taking my time here um, I'm drawing using the selector tool, just cutting stuff up, just cutting colors and remaining with the colors that I want uh, that I want to have. So that way, it's creating an illusion, it's creating a drawing, it's creating a nice drawing uh, for uh, that is with that is made up of black, red, and white. So there, let's link the dots, and once you link the dots, it grows like that, and you could um, cut to new selection. After you cut new selection, you could just delete that, and you'll be remaining with the lead part. So if you see that maybe there's some white you could just highlight that by literally leaving the process that I've told you. So you have to know where how an arm looks like to have this kind of effect. You can just be looking at maybe what I'm doing right here. I may have I will leave some uh, uh I'll leave a drawing and as reference that you can see the shape and size I'll leave it in the link. Okay so there uh i'm still on the arm you can see that it's now stick it's taking shape guys it was the same exact logo that i i showed you in the very beginning of this tutorial so i'm thinking you're falling through because um you, you don't have to be a beginner to do you you literally don't have to be a beginner to do this i have some beginner videos uh, somewhere but I, it gets a little boring anyways um i'm still on the black part and then i could just uh, cut that the same process literally for everything so i delete the cut it part cut a new layer and i delete that and if i want i want to keep on your white i also do that i'll go on the lead, lead layer and then cut it also and so that i because I, I want to maintain the white part i'll just you know highlight that i'll just paint white inside so the lead lilish things that have the lilish lazy juice that are there they should just uh, you know do it themselves um, so let me just select the selector tool again and go back to black and also do that on the end okay so it's literally the same process over and over and over again it's a little bit boring but that's how I'm, I was getting the effect you don't have to draw things separately and then color them because by just moving cars you are coloring by just moving cars literally you're coloring because once you remove the top color you're gonna be left with the black car so okay so i'm just try i was just trying to see how an arm is shaped let me just try to okay uh you you need to take your time on this because you're not using a marker because what you're doing here is you're selecting where places where you want to delete so there again i cut that to to a new layer i cut the black part i deleted it and i was thinking okay um let's highlight the the lead by selecting lead a brush um a paint brush which is red and then retracing our steps whilst always we're still on selected so 
okay so still on the arm you could really just do this process and make sure that you're doing it at the light price and you could you never miss if you're doing it at the light price you're never missing okay so um if it if you're finding it very hard to click on the spaces that you want to click you could just uh, lower your mouse wheel inside and then that will get the zooming in effect so still more still trying to do the arm because you need to make sure that the arm that you're drawing it looks a little bit realistic a little bit realistic so you need to take your time on this and you need to scroll down and try to move that so that you could have the desired shape that you want you know it's all about the movements and stuff like that so um you need to know once you want to curve you can just select that and a little drag your mouse somewhere you notice that it makes a curve and i was like okay my arm doesn't look like an arm the, if it's not a des desirable shape that you want you can always uh, left click on your mouse and it kind of undoes it undoes so that is also a vital point a vital thing that you need to know once you're doing th this kind of stuff so you need to take your time uh see how the shape is is developing because you don't want uh, something that is that doesn't look like an arm because if it doesn't look like an arm it'll be ugly and it won't look like a, a logo okay so i'm thinking that is uh, what i was after so i was just trying to i was going back i was going back since i wanted to cut that line out so i had to trace um, my steps so i'm gonna just gonna try to speed this up because you know where it's going and where it's gonna end okay let's speeding this up speeding this up okay so there you go i'll cut it laid by moving back as always okay so we're almost done we're just remaining with fingers um okay so starting fingers right now you need to see you need to look closely or you could use a reference image that i put in the link below you can't miss anything with this so there i'm studying the fingers okay so i took my time here so i'm just gonna again speed this up because it's not a beginner's tutorial i'm gonna speed this up because it's like the same and it's literally the same strategy that i i was using in the first one so you can't uh, miss it you can't really miss it it's all about uh, doing that and then cutting that up after that deleting that and it, it gives that desired effect so I was if I wanted a white layer to come out I would just also delete the black one by uh, maintaining what I've selected on what I've deleted on the black layer and then also doing the same to the um, layer so I will have the last layer that is below everything which is the white one so i will speed this process up i hope you know i hope you can see i don't want this tutorial to be this <laughs> i don't want this tutorial to like um be the full length of the actual drawing of the time that it will me draw this so i'm just gonna speed this up i hope that you you got the gist of it wow okay so i'm just gonna speed this up uh-huh I don't want you to spend a lot of time knowing whatever um, I don't want you to spend a lot of time already knowing what's gonna happen next so you're just seeing how I was, was making it uh, some uh, brief adjustments there by selecting the eraser and erasing what I wanted to remove so guys don't forget to save your stuff don't forget to save your stuff and never whenever you want to unselect something you can always select on the um, your project uh, on the workspace and then select and select so you could save as don't forget to save as a png or you could save as a clear document but but saving as a png helps you or oh, i saved it as laid on okay so let's go to png and then save so once you do this you gotta have your very own cool looking um creator logo okay so that's how you make this laid hand design creator don't forget to subscribe guys thank you